Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome, make yourselves at home. There's plenty of content to catch up on. And if you like what you see, feel free to give the video a little like, subscribe if you feel so inclined. It really does help me pick up on your energy for future collective readings. And if you are returning, well, friends, you know I love you. Thank you so much for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on our little channel. I spend a lot of my time talking to myself in these videos, and it's just awesome to get to engage with you in this way, friends. All right, so let's get to it. Today, we're going to be doing our monthly horoscopes. We're going to be looking at the month ahead and seeing what's in store for you. Um, I always suggest checking your sun, moon, rising signs. And if you want to go deeper, you can always check your Venus signs as well, or whatever other placement that you're into. Um, if you're not sure what that is, I do offer a service on my site where I can give you a report and um, yeah, look into that for you and get that information for you. And I'll let you know how your signs kind of show up in your personality and in your everyday life. Um, it's been really fun getting to do these for you guys. So if you're interested, make sure to check my shop. The link is up on the screen right now. And also note, if you'd like to book a private reading, this is the only way to book a private reading with me is by going to the shop, checking out all the different kinds of services that I offer, and then going from there. All right, friends, as always, um, we'll start with Aries at the top. Let's go. And also happy birthday, baby Aries. Um, it is airy season. It's the beginning of spring, even though, I mean, literally where I live, you can't even tell because um, it's been rainy. But um, yeah, here's to new beginnings in the astrological new year. All right, my Aries babies. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to connect today and allowing me to channel these messages for the collective and my Aries friends in the month of April, Spirit. What can my Aries babies expect, please, in the month of April? Now, we are going to be just getting general messages today, so whatever comes through is what we're meant to talk about. Messages from my Aries, please. What's going on with them in April? What do they need to know about? Some of you could be focused on work or home or just rebuilding some type of stability. There's certain things you haven't walked away from or you won't be in April. We'll see what that's about. Thank you, Spirit. What's up with my Aries in April? All right. So we have the Three of Wands with the Five of Wands in reverse. Lots of wand action, um, which makes sense, right? Look, and even more fire action. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you guys are, I, I do feel like you're just kind of sitting back and waiting to see what happens. Maybe you guys already have something going on entering the month. Um, there could be drama around you that just wasn't there. Maybe it's like, I just heard, not my circus, not my monkeys. Maybe it is your circus, but you can't help it if people around you are, um, there's conflict and it feels like, it feels, so it, there is an edge of excitement here. There's an edge of coming back to, getting back to it. Maybe you're inspired. And regardless of what was going on before this, um, maybe even entering the month, it was a waiting period because it's like, you're like, this is going to blow over. It's going to be fine. I do feel you guys are going to be very much in your creative like power this month. Um, there is a transformation that is happening. If you guys have like, it, I don't know, like if you guys are creative in some way or have been wanting to do a project or get into something fun, pick up a fun hobby or just go out and have fun. I do feel this is going to be a great time for you. Look, there's that wait, the waiting of a new beginning. I do think that there is a, I love this because it's Aries energy and it's like, there's a sense of like naiveness to it, not in a bad way, but almost like in an innocent way. Like I think of a child, um, you know, before they've gone through rough things in life and there's like a sense of innocence to it. And that's how I feel about your reading. There's a sense of just feeling really hopeful and being excited that things are going to turn around. Um, you could have been feeling undecided or will be in regards to this conflict or drama around you, but essentially I think it's going to be dropped. Wow. You guys could be dealing with a Libra. Um, look, watch out for like contracts or maybe it's your taxes. Um, you know, if you're in the United States, it is tax season. I hate that word. I hate the T word. 
but um, it's kind of what comes up. Or if you guys are getting ready to sign a new contract, just kind of beware. Um, look things over. Make sure like I's are dotted, T's are crossed, like all of that kind of stuff because there's a big imbalance here when it comes to um, it could be something legal or like I said, it could be paperwork. Why the page of wands? You guys, yeah, you guys are ready to step into your power. This is such great energy. You're bringing an ending to something or there's something transforming where you're like, no, what I'm putting in, I'm getting out of it. You're very joyful this month, Aries. I absolutely love this. With this Empress energy in the sun, very fertile, very, very fertile energy. Um, so if you're someone that like can get pregnant, like just kind of beware of that. But not just that, this is also for creative projects. I feel like you guys are really going to be taking care of yourselves this month, meaning it's like a me first. I'm going to be thinking about me so that I can take care of everyone else around me. That's kind of what I felt about this, that this conflict may not necessarily be relating to you, but it might be like around you and you're like, ah, oh, it'll blow over. Um, there's almost a sense here of there's nothing I can do about it or it's just not fair. So I'm just going to focus on what is under my control. I feel like you guys have been patient. I think you guys are healing yourselves. Um, again, there's just this energy. Maybe you were laying low for a while and now's the time to come back around. Maybe you had a rough winter or a rough like few weeks. Um, and now here's the turnaround. I absolutely love it. Here's that eight of cups again I was seeing earlier. Um, not walking away from this, not leaving something behind. But you're still, I feel like you guys are prioritizing yourselves. Work is going to be really, really good. I feel like you guys have other people that rely on you. For a lot of you, it's children or family or maybe um, your position at work. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be celebrating this month, which makes sense because it is your birthday. And even though you have a lot of things on your plate, I feel like it's, um, I feel like it's good stuff. This is a really nice read, my Aries babies. We have Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, heavy Libra. You're showing up all over the place as well. Um, Leo and Scorpio showing through. All right, let's pull. Let's pull some Oracle cards for you guys. Great read. I love it. I can feel the warmth of the sunshine and the happiness coming through. <laughs> um, all right, let's get some Oracle cards for you. Thank you, Spirit. More messages for my Aries friends, please. More messages for Aries, please. Consciousness. You guys are very aware of your surroundings and of things around you. Trust. You are trusting. I love this. One more, please. and pain. There is something around you. I feel like it's being released though. Um, every, I feel like you guys were coming out, are coming out of it. I mean, only you know how this is relating. If you guys were experiencing some kind of pain, trust, trust in the process. And I feel like um, by the end of April, you guys are going to be really in a really content place. All right, let's see what our oracle cards have to say, our 90s oracle cards. We have shoot your shot. So some of you might be going after, I'm like, what way does that card go? Some of you might be shooting your shot. You might be doing something new. And if you do, if you guys are thinking of starting something new, like now is the time. Um, April is going to be a very good month for you to start any kind of new projects. That fertility energy, it stems across the board. It's like you plant seeds, they're going to grow. We have keep it a secret, keep it safe. Maybe some of you aren't letting on to your plans if you have plans or you're just that hermit. Um, I feel like you were kind of keeping to yourself. We have coming in fast-ish. So maybe there was a weight involved that tested your patience and it's like it's here. Whatever transformation, transition, whatever needed to close out, I feel like it will be this month for you. We have take the risk or lose the chance. You guys have, um, you guys have these messages of go for it. Um, 
yeah, I, I really like that for you. Just go for it, my group. I almost said my group number ones. No, there's no groups today. My Aries baby. <laughs> Let's get some one more message for you guys. I really like this. It's a positive read. All right. And your message for the month is, I am worthy of having my needs honored. I almost couldn't even say that because <laughs> I was going to cough. Um, I am worthy of having my needs honored. I love this for you, my Aries friends. All right, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your little horoscope reading. I'm wishing you nothing but the best this month and take care of yourselves. Now, hello, my Leo friends. Let's get to it. Let's see what the month of April has in store for you. These are general messages. So whatever comes through, comes through. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. And let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my Leos in the month of April, Spirit. What's in store for my Leo friends in the month of April, please? What's in store for my Leos in the month of April? What's going on? What do we got to talk about today for my Leos in the month of April, please? We have the tower in reverse. We have the king of wands. You're showing up so strong, so confident. Either that or that's someone around you. We'll see what that is. You guys could be rebuilding your confidence or just going after things you want after going through a tower moment, something that changed everything. And now you're like finding your stride again. We have the knight of wands in reverse. What's going on with my Leos? What's going on? You guys could be avoiding this King of Wands, someone that you're very attracted to, but their energy is more out than in. Yeah, you're you're choosing to um, go hermit and you're not letting the situation hurt you anymore. You guys are focused on healing. There's a lot of care and emotion when it comes to this, but it's almost like I'm choosing myself type of vibes. I feel like you guys wish that this could be different, but you're not committing yourself to it. Look at these two eights coming through together. I feel like something here. So I do kind of feel friends that your mood this month is going to be a little, a little, uh, what is that touch and go or like on and off a little up and down perhaps. Cause I feel like I feel like you, you're leaving something behind and it feels like you're well on your way. Like you're the one doing this, but at the same time, I don't know if you're feeling a little negative about it because something like there is no commitment here. So you're just like kind of withdrawing and you're doing what you feel is right because it's like you're emotionally protecting yourself. And you also feel like I, I do feel you are getting over something and you are going to be feeling better. Um, but with this justice card, it feels like it wasn't necessarily what you wanted to do, but what you had to do. And it's what's fair. Tell me about this King of Cups with the tower in reverse, please. Interesting. I feel like you guys are avoiding a situation that didn't give you enough emotion or didn't give you enough love. It's like there's still a lot of love and care about it, but the way it was shown or the way it was given, it was just like not enough. And so you're just avoiding it. Some of you are manifesting a conversation or speaking with someone. This King of Swords in reverse, or you're just not. I feel, okay, so one thing I want to say, my Leo babies, just watch out what words come out of your mouth um, this month and in what way. Because if you start to say certain things, you might start to call those things into your life. I do feel like you're kind of waiting for your manifestations to come through. Maybe you guys are waiting to hear from someone. But there's definitely something here about blocking or walking away. Only you guys know where this applies. This is you, though, being very confident in your decision, you're doing what you have to do, not what you want to do. Yeah, you guys are moving on.
I feel like you're blocking someone or you're, it's either that or you're not really trusting yourself. Yeah, I, no, you don't trust it. You don't trust something, so you're blocking it. You are going to have an opportunity come up here. But your mind is going to be changing on if you want this because it feels like it comes with conflict. And there's a lot that you feel you don't know and that just messes with you emotionally. This could definitely be about a person, but I don't feel like you trust this situation. You feel like within time, it'll show itself. I feel like you guys are letting time do its thing. I'm going to wait and see if this is for real before I trust it, because in the past, you couldn't trust this. Some of you, this could be relating to a home, friends, or a partner. All right. The ball's in your court, though, friends. Whatever you decide to do. There's that emperor. Yeah. Someone could be coming towards you. And I'm not sure if you're interested. Now, if it's not that, you guys are just bossing up. You're focused on moving forward, which I think is true regardless if someone else is involved or not. You're focused on starting something new. In the past, it gave you anxiety, but you're choosing yourself. And then here's for those of you that this is about a person. You're just not sure if you can trust them. They're showing up though. Give me a second chance. There's a strong connection here. I want to start new with you. But you're just not sure, friends. So you're just going to let time do its thing. I like this because at the end of the day, you're still choosing yourself. You're focusing on your work. You're focusing on your finance, like whatever it is you got going on. Your social life is good. Like you're just, you're doing you. And whatever this was in the past, it didn't give you enough. And it's trying to come back around. And you're like, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure I can trust it this time around. What's going to be different? We have Pisces, Virgo, um, Aries, Aries again, Aries again, Leo, of course cancer. All right. I do feel like you had a wish here though, but it just, I, I feel like it's that you're almost like, is it wishful thinking? I almost feel like you're afraid to trust it because it might let you down again, but the opportunity is going to be there and good for you for learning from your past, my friends. All right. Thank you, spirit. More messages, please, for my Leo collective. More messages for the Leos. Reflection. Yes. Cleanse. Trust. Look at all these blue cards. You guys have all cool colored cards, which makes me feel like you're cool. You're cool, man. Um, no, but for real, it's like you're not letting the situation come in and ruffle your feathers the way it would have in the past. You're cleansing. You guys could be get, getting rid of stuff, maybe even doing some spring cleaning um, you know, material things, or maybe even the energies around you. You've been very reflecting, you're trusting and you're trusting in your own magic. Those, this is also encouraging you to trust in your manifestations that the things that you want are going to start to show up. It's totally okay to question them because, Hey, we've had a rough ass time. I get it. <laughs> so you're like, can I trust it for real this time? And, and honestly, I think in your heart, you know, that only time will tell. This is just the energy from for April. It's not um, permanent. No energy is permanent. Um, but yeah, let's see what the 90s oracles have to say. Let's see what their little two cents are for my Leos. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, you guys have some serious trust messages coming through. I was going to say trust issues. Hey, I mean, who doesn't at this point? I'm not saying who doesn't. I know not everyone does. But if you do, I can't blame you, friends, because it's rough out here. We have trust the universe with the Simon says. We have take care of your shit. Maybe that's you. Maybe that's a message for you. Cleanse. It's time to cleanse your space. Um, we have expect a message. I'm telling you, for those of you that this is about a person or something you've been waiting on, I do feel you're going to hear something. We have instant messenger, incoming messages. Maybe this is even from the universe, friends. 
like ask for ask for um signs from the universe ask for i don't know to see certain animals certain bugs certain something numbers it's there it's there to remind you that you are supported and the universe is always hearing your your wishes your prayers your thoughts be careful of what you speak out loud maybe that's this other person that you're just feeling kind of negative about them or the situation one more message from my leos please we have I can choose new ways of being with myself, with others out in the world. I like that. New ways of being. All right, my Leo babies, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I'm wishing you nothing but the best, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my Saggy babies, and welcome to your April horoscopes. All right, let's get right to it. Let's see what general messages come through for you for the month of April. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my Sagittarius friends. What's up with them in April? What do we got to talk about today? What's going on with them in April, please? Messages for my Saggies in the month of April. What do they need to know? What do they need to know, please, in the month of April? What's going on with them? I am getting there is some sadness or grief or regret that's coming through. Maybe someone having to walk away or leave something behind. What's going on with my Sagittarius in April, please? It could be a decision that needs to be made. And there's almost like the all the overthinking or the thinking back. It's like not helping. Maybe there was conflict with someone and it's like it needs to be dropped. We have the King of Wands. There could be a lack of motivation, drive, or confidence. Maybe a lack of commitment from someone or something else. Oh, there you are. Yeah, and I feel like both, both people are not on the same page. Maybe there's a separation. It's within the home. This feels like it's already established, but both people are kind of going through different things. The feminine energy could be a little moody or just, they're both lacking confidence, but it just feels like both may be creatively drained or just drained in general. It's really hard to communicate right now. Maybe there's no communication. Maybe there's anger. Maybe there was an argument and we just have to let it go. There's the burden. It feels like there's some heaviness regarding the home or your work, whatever foundation is, is coming up here. Not moving forward. There could be a return as well. Maybe the walking away already happened. Oh, but someone here is overthinking a lot. Someone here is coming off as being a little toxic. With that page of wands in reverse, it's like the way we speak is not very nice right now. Very fiery, and you're kind of icing this person out. Maybe someone here, you view them as immature, or they're younger than you, or I don't know. I almost feel like they try to make it better, but it's not happening. You're like not, yeah, I was going to say you're not speaking. There's something we're not talking about when it comes to the home or the family. Yeah, maybe there's kids involved. Doesn't have to be. There's a lot of good memories here, but it's like we're we're not we're not communicating. Why the ten of wands? You're there is a painful ending. It could have been a long time coming. Surrounding the home. Interesting. It almost feels like there's a get together. Hmm. Your reading feels heavy. I'm sorry, my Sagis, but I'm tapping into this energy and I can't help what comes through. Why this devil with the five of swords in reverse? Oh, it's like, it's not what we wanted, but it's what brought balance back to the situation. There's a bringing balance back to this. Maybe you're dealing with a, a Capricorn or a Gemini. Pisces as well is coming through. Aries, Leo, Sag. 
What else, please? Hermit, yeah, you're keeping to yourself this month because the situation's kind of taking it out of you. You're not trying to invest in anything and you're you're being honest about it. You're you're going through something right now. Um, here's the thing, I don't see a tower, so I kind of feel like you you're already in this energy. And this is just part of your processing that you're going to go through in April. Because I don't see that it's a shock. I just see that right now you got to you gotta kind of hunker down, maybe focus on your family, your home, the things that do make you, bring you peace. Maybe if you're, this is about your partnership, both of you are going through something. But it's like you're kind of going through it together. Yeah, this feels like it's after a tower. And there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. It could be relating to, um, it's either a business or a father or a provider of some sort. I feel like you're going to be focusing on your work this month because your thoughts may be a little jumbled up. So you're just going to focus on what you are good at and it feels like, and what you're in control of. And it feels like, you know, it's a matter of time or there's something about timing. Again, they're showing me walking away. I do feel you are going to be getting out of your head, but you're also not coming off as being too motivated, inspired. Basically, like if you make plans, like, or you may not feel like making plans. You may not feel like committing to things, or it could be vice versa. It could be the person you're dealing with. Now, maybe the person you're dealing with is work-related. You guys can put it wherever it fits. Um, maybe you guys are going to therapy during this time and that's helping. Because there's things you can't talk about at home. Very interesting message. All right, let's see what your oracle cards have to say about your situation, my Saggy babies. All right, thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Saggies in April, please. Messages for the Saggies in April. Yeah, you guys are one more, please. Look, there's that creativity. I don't know how creative. Maybe your happy place is your creativity. Maybe that's what you're doing to get keep your spark going. Because I do feel like whatever is happening is affecting you in other ways. We have space. We have pain. We have frustration. So you are going through it, my friends. There's, there's a lot that's going on around you. Like I said, it doesn't seem like this is just going to drop out of thin air for you. It feels like you're kind of already in this energy. Now, if you're not, then, you know, maybe this is not your reading. This is definitely for a Saggy out there. Thank you, Spirit. Can we get some more messages, please? All right, we have, we have, don't ask me, I'm a ball, you already know anyway. So it feels like you already know what this is, or you already know um, something, like if you recognize this energy, I feel like you already know what's up. Then we have, did you forget again that you always bounce back? I love this. We're going to put this here with the happiness. You're going to bounce back. It's a matter of time. We have sure, Jan. This to me feels like this is going to be your response whenever you're triggered outside of your situation. Meaning if at work, someone's being annoying or if you're at the store, it's like just people are going to be getting on your nerves. And I feel like you're just going to be like, okay, yeah, sure, sure, whatever. And we have expect a message. So you may be getting a message soon. Um, maybe there's messages from people around you that know you're going through something and are going to be there for you. And let's get one more card for you from the universe. Thank you, spirit. One more message for my Sagis. What do they need to hear, please? We have, I can trust my intuition to guide me in my journey. I love that. You're very reflective this month. You're going to be hermit is what it feels like. Okay, my Sagi babies, that's what I have for you today. Please take care of yourselves during this time especially, and I will catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys.